I swear to God, I swear to God, you stupid bitch. Put it out, you can't spend a lot. Turn it for a 12 buck swap. But I'm just sitting in the box. Get a leaf in the box. Robert Woods, the past two years, is arguably a top 30 receiver. And I don't even think it's arguably. I think everyone can agree that he's a top 30 receiver and may even crack the top 20. At 2018, he had his first career 1,000-yard season, also having a career year in touchdowns. 2019, he would start off slow, but would have another 1,000-yard season, but would only have two touchdowns. In his three-year career so far with the Los Angeles Rams, he has been very, very productive. When he signed with LA on a five-year deal, people weren't expecting much of him. But with an injured first year under the contract, it was already a doubt. But in 2018, he shocked the world having 86 receptions for 1,219 yards and six touchdowns. And being a huge part of the Rams' success in 2018. And the wide receiver trio of Cooper Cup. Robert Woods, Brandon Cooks, and then even Josh Reynolds. He had 1,134 yards and two touchdowns in 2019. At 2018 and 19, with a stacked receiving core, like I just mentioned, it's hard to say that he was given the ball a lot. He had 86 catches with those guys on the team as well. That just shows, that just goes to show you how good he can be. And honestly, to answer this question right in the beginning of the video, is he good or average? He is good. He is good. He's not average. The other two videos I've made of this, uh, they've both been average. I did a uh, Philip Lindsay and James Conner. Both of them, I said they were average. But in this one, he is good. With Brandon Cooks gone, this is a true test for not only Cooper Cup, but for Robert Woods as well. He has a number one receiver. And I feel like the reason why the Rams were comfortable get, getting rid of Brandon Cooks was because they have Robert Woods, Cooper Cup, and Josh Reynolds, General Everett, and all those other tight ends as well. I think the Rams can still be very successful passing the football, not so much running the football. But in the passing game, this team is going to be very, very successful. That is coming from a person that really doesn't like the Rams. I thought the Rams were overhyped to 2018 and then going into 2019. But I still think the passing offense is going to be very, very good. They got Cup, Woods, and Reynolds. I already said that a million times, but that is a very good trio. And I think with Brandon Cooks gone, and hopefully he can be healthy, he can have a Pro Bowl year. And Cooper Cup going into his you know, first year fully 100% healthy in 2020, those two could be a dynamic duo. They could be a dynamic duo. I got cut off at the end. I'm sorry. But I, I do think Robert Woods is very, very good and talented. He is going to be 28, uh, but he's in his prime. He's going to have a five-year deal with two years left. Uh, people are saying he could be traded. Um, I don't think he will. I think the Rams are going to keep him. If anybody does get traded, it could be Ren Reynolds or Cup. I just think Robert Woods uh, has a, such a good contract for the length and his production. Um, when he was with Buffalo, people said he was a bust. He was a second-round pick, and he— the most yards he had was 699. The most catches he had was 65. And the most touchdowns he had was five. And he only averaged around like a 11 yards per catch, which for a receiver at that speed is kind of low. That's like a tight end. Um, now his yard per reception is up in 14 and almost 15 with the Rams. And his three years, he has not as many, or he has more touchdowns, more yards and more receptions in his three-year career. Uh, not only having one full 16-game season than he did in Buffalo his entire career. Um, but yeah, once again, to throw my answer in there, I think he's good, not average. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. It really means a lot. Peace.